Welcome back to the channel everyone. Once again, I'm taking you back to the EV battery supply chain as we're about to see a sector explosion. Some have launched, some are about to take off and some are already midway fly to the moon. So lots to update in this video and so if you stay with me to the end, I have 5 top lithium stocks which have big big news. And you want to make sure you watch to the end so you don't miss out on the banger which I have for you which is not only a Tesla partner but also why analysts are most excited about this top lithium play. With a push to increase sales of EVs in the United States and globally by 40 to 50 percent, the demand for lithium is expected to increase by 4x in 2025. We are miles away from 2025 but we are already beginning to see lithium prices jump again reaching highs of $2,200 per tonne as miners can keep up with the EV battery boom. And so amid this boom, any lithium company advancing its projects and attracting attention from Wall Street analysts is bound to grab the market's interest. So really really exciting outlook here. And so if you hold any EV battery supply chain stocks and are feeling positive about this EV bull run, please do me a favor to drop a like on this video as it is completely free and only takes a second to do and it helps a lot to spread the word about this video to others who may equally benefit from it. YouTube stats also show that only about 26% of my viewers are subscribed to the channel. And so if you do end up enjoying this video, please consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so you never miss out on any of these big opportunities. And as we all know, timing is very key as we enter these bull runs, so there's a link in the description below and the top pinned comment to my private discord where we call these runners early and you get to join a strong 10,000 member investment community to help you in your investment journey on a variety of topics including stocks, live trading, options, cryptos, forex and more. And if you're new or struggling, we can help you there abundantly as well. I recently called some clean energy stocks there only last week such as Ali and blind me it is killing it already and making some viewers and myself massive gains as I loaded up on it myself. So check out the link and see for yourself. Thank you so much. The first banger on the list for today is Lake Resources, ticker number on the OTC LLKKF and on the Australian Stock Exchange LKE. First call on the channel at 26 cents which is our most viewed video on the channel and we're very bullish on it and it has jumped by over 80% and is now sitting at 45 cents per share with a market cap of $522 million. It is currently up by 25% on the month and 80% in 6 months and it seems to me like it's only just getting started. And here's what's special with Lake. Lake Resources has the largest land package in the Lithium Triangle with a total of 4 Lithium Brian projects in Argentina including its flagship Kachi project. And in conjunction with its partner Lilac Solutions, the company has developed a direct lithium extraction DLE technology. And this uses ion exchange methods to produce high purity 99.9% .9 lithium carbonate from its flagship Kachi project in just under a few hours and with little environmental impact as compared to traditional extraction methods. As traditional methods take up to 2 years and only recover about 50% of the lithium content. Red Cloud Securities initiated coverage on Lake with a buy rating and a 1.25 Australian dollars target price or 95 cents US. And their upcoming catalysts include the demo plant in Q421, offtake ongoing discussions and pending feasibility studies. Next up to our number 2 penny stock here which is Rock Tech Lithium Corp, ticker number for OTC, RCKTF and for the Canadian Venture Exchange, RCK. First call on the channel in April at $3.58 and it has since been sprinting up by over 90% and now sitting at just under $7 per share with a market cap of $409 million and also moving past penny stock territory. This stock is up 28% over the last trading day alone on the back of some big big news and up 68% over the month. It is even a more interesting observation when you look at it over 6 months where it is up by 90%. Its latest update has certainly caught investor attention which has caused this big jump and when you look at it from a year to date perspective, whilst it's been up by a staggering 415%, what strikes me is that this penny stock has a track record of giving big news and having these big jumps in its share price which seems to hold over time. So could there be more? 
With the drive for EV batteries, Rocktech is looking to build Euro's first lithium hydroxide converter in Brandenburg, Germany. And interestingly, it is in the same town as Tesla's Giga Berlin Gigafactory. And the company intends to locate all production steps of lithium refining in one overall plant in the Guben site. And the investment decision for all production steps still depends, amongst other things, on ongoing discussions regarding subsidies already applied for or still to be applied for. And the region offers the best conditions for becoming a central component of the battery value chain and thus part of the Brandenburg's e-mobility cluster. They will produce around 24,000 metric tons of lithium hydroxide per year, which will correspond to the volume needed to equip around 500,000 electric cars with lithium-ion batteries. And the converter is scheduled to start operations in 2024, so exciting times ahead. Next up to our number 3 penny stock here, which is Standard Lithium, listed on the New York Stock Exchange under the ticker number SLI. Sly. It has a share price sitting at $11 per share and a market cap of $1.5 billion. Standard, just like the others, has been killing it recently on the back of big news being up 65% on the month, 249% in 6 months, and an incredible 387% year to date. And before you even say these stocks have already had their run, this run is way before they've even made a dollar of revenue, they are unprofitable and cash flow negative. So these players have a long, long way to go in my view and are all winners in their own right. And as you can see, these stocks are very new sensitive, which is what we like to see and so patience will be required for them to give up some of their recent gains to provide decent entry points for the long term. Standard Lithium announced positive preliminary economic assessment and updated of inferred mineral resource at the Southwest Arkansas Lithium Project. And the key points included a profitable operation with IRR of 40 and 32%, a 20-year mine life producing an average of 30,000 tons per year of battery quality lithium hydroxide, an operating cost of $2,599 per ton of battery quality lithium hydroxide, which is really low, and to put in context, the equivalent is $4,000 for some miners. But here's how analysts have responded to this news. Canacode increased its price target on standard lithium to 14 Canadian dollars, up from 9.25 Canadian dollars, whilst maintaining a buy rating on the stock, stating they were impressed by the preliminary economic assessment. Standard Lithium also has two agreements that form the base of its business, a joint venture with Germany-based chemical giant Lantex to extract lithium from the brine Lantex produces as a byproduct at its bromine facilities and a deal with Tetra Technologies that gives it the right to extract lithium from Tetra's brine leases in Arkansas. So really exciting outlook. Next up to a number 4 penny stock here, which is Lithium Americas Corp, ticket number on the New York Stock Exchange, LAC, LAC. It has a share price sitting at $25.40 and a market cap of $3 billion. It is up 20% in the last 5 days, 76% in 6 months and 88% year to date. Lithium Americas expanded their resource at their Thaka Pass and increased Phase 1 capacity to target 40,000 tons per annum of lithium carbonate. The initial Phase 1 targeted capacity increase from 30 to 35,000 tons per annum to reflect the optimized mine plan and leaching efficiencies. And the feasibility study is being designed to incorporate a potential Phase 2 expansion scenario to target a total capacity of 80,000 tons per annum to meet potential partner and customer demand. And the company expects to provide an update on timing of the feasibility study by early 2022 to align with the strategic partnership process and ongoing engineering work. And here's what analysts think about Lithium Americas. They saw a positive improvements to its relative strength RS rating with an increase from 90 to 93. And when looking at best stocks to buy and watch, one factor to watch closely is the relative price strength. And this proprietary rating tracks market leadership by showing how a stock's price action over the last 52 weeks compares to other stocks. So very exciting for LAC. Next up to our number 5 lithium stock and banger on the list for today, which is Liven Corp. Ticket number for the New York Stock Exchange, Lithium, LTHM, which I hold a big position in. First call on the channel in May at $16.97 and it has since been sprinting and now sitting at $26.50 with a market cap of $4.2 billion. 
Liven has got a very bright future, having secured a contract extension with Tesla for 2021 and we await news on the future years. This stock is up 13% over the last 5 days and 59% over the last 6 months. Liven updated that their Q3 earnings conference call is planned for the 4th of November, so save the date for a follow-up video on that. And even before that, analysts are already bullish on why Livent is poised to beat earnings estimates again. So you can already begin to expect a share price jump in anticipation of this news. Zach's Equity Research states, if you're looking for a stock that has a solid history of beating earnings estimates and is in a good position to maintain the trend in its next quarterly report, you should consider Livent. And this company, which is in the Zach's chemical specialty industry, shows potential for another earnings beat. And when looking at the last two reports, this supply of performance lithium compounds has recorded a strong strike of surpassing earnings estimates, and the company has stopped estimates by 100% on average in the last two quarters. For the last reported quarter, Livent came out with earnings of $0.04 cents per share versus Zach's consensus estimate of $0.02 cents per share, representing a surprise of 100%. And their research shows that stocks with a combination of positive earnings and a Zacks rank of 3, which is a hold or better, produce a positive surprise nearly 70% of the time. And in other words, if you have 10 stocks with this combination, the number of stocks that beat the consensus estimate could be as high as 7. And for me, what makes Liven special is that not only is it a Tesla partner, but it is already producing lithium commercially and profitably. So you can see why analysts are very excited about it. And when you look at their PL numbers, oh my goodness, a sea of green, triple and quadruple digit growth across some of the PL items. Not a touch of red, which is absolutely incredible stuff for a miner, and I'll be loading up more on any decent pullbacks. So very interesting and mind-blowing prospects I have for these penny stocks. And so only consider getting in if the price is right for you and if you fully understand the risk. This video is no financial advice, a buy or sell recommendation, but it's meant to bring some new and exciting penny stocks to your attention for you to do your own research. And if you're new to my channel, please ensure to subscribe and hit the bell so you're notified when I upload new videos. And if you would like to see more videos like this, please check out this video right here or this video right here to watch equally insightful content from the channel. Thank you so much for being here and I look forward to having you in my next video. Thank you.